Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Nick. Let's continue our journeys. Episode 4, Blurry Image. Rodrigo! I came as fast as I could to hear the news. We found a body at the site of the accident. I was told that already. Have you identified it? Not yet. It is burned to a crisp. Except for one finger. Tell him the whole story. Don't worry, I recognize the finger and it's not Linda's. The forensic team will make the DNA analysis to identify it. Ronaldo, I need to speak to you in private. Now, my baby is tired. I hate it when you answer on my behalf. And I hate it even more to say he's right. But it's true. It's been a long day. Okay, we'll talk in the morning. Or when you have time, Ronaldo. I can't believe you keep agreeing to see Joanna. Whether we like it or not, she's our only link to Changada. She's guilty of all of this and you still trust her. It wasn't her, it was Dante. He used Changada's funds. You believe him, you blame him, of course. And who told you that, Joanna? It's obvious, Joanna is taking up the heat while Dante is gone. You are the only one to blame in all of this. They took my money, remember? I want you before it blew off. Stop attacking me. I'm doing everything I can to get us out of here. You're lying. You are selfish. You will probably just save yourself. I'm going to prove you wrong about me. You should treat me better. You are who you are today thanks to me. Is it? Are you? I wish I never met you. I'm tired of your stupid fights. He started it. Don't be a child. Both of you into solitary. This is not a kindergarten. Happy now. God bless the camera that records you. Don't be cheesy, please. Okay, you don't want to talk about your beauty. Let's talk about business. Looking good. Bruno thinks you're the only one to blame about everything. And he still thinks you're clean. Just as we planned it. You should come with me. We can start from scratch here. Don't make me laugh and enjoy your holidays. Holidays? I had to change my looks, my name, my country. My part is not easy either. I have to get money and keep the pirate's fury under control. Has he threatened you again? All the time, he's asking for the drugs he never received. What happened with the drugs? Burned down. In the truck, you tell him everything that's happened. We were on our way to Campo Grande to deliver it with Kevin when... I was unharmed, as you can see. Not everyone was this lucky. There were drugs all over the place and I heard the police was coming. What did you do? I erased my fingerprints. The best way to do that is to burn everything down. The drugs too? There was no time for anything else. The pirate will kill you. I told you it's not easy being in my shoes. So where's Kevin? 
I need to understand why the police insist on blaming Linda. It's ridiculous that they accuse her of being a drug dealer. All the evidence points at her. But you don't believe any of that, do you? I would never doubt Linda. I'm a part of justice. But I would never doubt Linda. Of course not. I know Linda. What's happening is insane. This witness, the one who accused her? Jody Russo, what about him? Is he still saying Linda used to sell him drugs? Yes. He's lying. By saying that, he's incriminating himself. Why would he do that? By providing that information, he makes sure his sentence is reduced. That's not credible. He also mentioned a man. His description of him resembles Kevin. Linda and Kevin were estranged at that time. It couldn't have been her. We don't know for sure. What happened to Linda's cell phone? I kept the cell phone to prevent potential contamination. When I turned it on, it was already cleared. What? How? Someone deleted all the cell phone's memory. When that information gets recovered, it will be clear that Linda is innocent. How though? Wakey, wakey. The patient remains stable. She is not getting worse, but she's not responding either. She's responding now. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys on our next journeys.